What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using a spicy extract skull villain team that also features Mirror Herb Halucha and Choice Band War Moon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But we got Water Tauros to get us started here with today's team preview. Water Tauros over here was a bit better in Series 1. Now we're starting to see the other Tauros come out in effect, the Fire Tauros. But yeah, Water Tauros is still pretty solid, has great ability with Intimidate. And this one is rocking the Assault Vest to make it a bit more bulkier on that special defense side. It's got that Aqua Jet for first and priority, Raging Bull for a nice little stab move, and then it's got Close Combat for a bigger stab move, and Wave Crash for another big stab move. So this thing is just stacked with big time stab moves. Cannot wait to get after this Pokemon and get some big damage done on it. Halucha is going to be our second Pokemon with Unburden and the Mirror Herb. Really good item and ability to rock out with this Pokemon because what that ability does is when we do not have an item, its speed goes up. So that's going to be really good if we say you spicy extract on an opponent, Mirror Herb that with Halucha so we get that attack boost and then on top of that Unburden ability will pop to give us a speed boost as well. So Halucha very good in that situation. He's got Acrobatics, Close Combat for two stab moves, Rock Slide for coverage, and Detect for its final move. Third Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. Torkoal is going to be good for two reasons. First reason, it's amazing in Trick Room. So if we're going up against Trick Room teams, I can just bring in this Pokemon and get ripping with it. Second reason is, it is going to be able to uh, pop Protosynthesis on our Pokemon, and we get Weather Control on that, so really do like that. He's got Drought and the Jack Pack as his item, Helping Hand, Overheat, Protect, and Heat. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Skull Villain. The first ever grass and fire type Pokemon. This one has chlorophyll, doubled speed in the sun, focus sash as item, and it's rocket spicy extract, overheat just like Torkoal, and then protect and rage power to protect ally Pokemon. Fifth Pokemon is a paradox Pokemon that you guys seen hundreds of times before. It is Fluttermane, Protosynthesis, Life Orb, Protect, Dazzle Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast. Again, you guys seen that plenty of times. Final Pokemon on today's team is another paradox Pokemon, but this one is built really, really cool. It is a Choice Band Warren Moon. It's got Dragon Claw, EQ, Throat Chop, and U-Turn. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon and deal some big damage with them. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Skull Villain and Choice Band Warrior. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Farigaraf Trick Room team with Baxcalibur, Amoongus, Talonflame, Fluttermane, and great tusk so actually they can go into two things they can pop trick room or they can just go straight into tailwind with talonflame which i think they're gonna do rather than go into trick room so i might just bring torkoal just in case they want to pop trick room but i feel like the bull's gonna be a solid lead for us he gets some work done super effective onto a few and can uh, kind of pop off so i am with that i'm with bull and maybe even like halucha here halucha's not bad or i can go in with you you're not bad either skull villain you're not bad either skull villain i kind of want to go into skull villain I could drop defense here as well with that, which could be really good for us. I might want to go into Skull Villain. Amoongus might be a lead, which I kind of hate. So I kind of want to go into... No, I got to go in with the Bull. I got to go in with the Bull, right? The Bull's just nice. I'm going to go in with the Bull. Intimidate can work wonders here as well up against these physical attackers. And then... Oh, this is tough. This is tough because I really want to bring in the Spicy Extract Pokemon. I might just bring him in as like a more so of like a back-end Pokemon. I got to go Fluttermane here. Fluttermane is really solid. I think I want to go Choice Band and then just go Skull Villain in the back end. I mean, again, Torkoal could be nice, but Skull Villain could also be nice. Just like a big time overheat late in the game. I'm with it. We can roll out with him. And plus, Skull Villain can play support side as well, so I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. So we're going to lead the Tauros alongside with the Fluttermane. Try to get one with this battle, but I feel like they got to lead Town from. That's why I think Taurus is going to be a solid lead for us. And hopefully they lead another physical attacker so they can uh, get some work done. If, they, if it's not a physical attacker, we have Assault Vest. Definitely still help us out. So either way, Taurus is solid. Definitely solid lead. The Max Caliber and Talonflame come out here. Beautiful. Two physical attackers. We get off some big time Intimidate and a Talonflame comes out here, which we can do some nice lovely water damage. And then Max Caliber's out here, which we can do some big time fairy damage. I'm with it. I'm all about it. So from here, I think I just Raging Bull, right? Gotta just go for a nice little Raging Bull. And then uh, I could Gleam, but Shadow Ball's gonna be our best bet. Just rip it into the slot with the Shadow Ball. Um, with, I could also Terrasalize and Straight Fairy, but I don't think there's a need for it. We got Orb. If Baxcalibur does not Terrasalize, we pick up the KO. But I think Baxcalibur's gonna either Protect or Terrasalize, right? 
It's gotta be back scout, but I doubt it's a talent flame because I feel like he's just gonna use talent flame just to get off the tailwind. And yeah, Baxi is going to terrasize in a straight fairy. So Baxi's going for straight fairy shots. That's fine. I mean, if it does go, ooh, that could be good. He could take out my bull. Straight fairy throwing me off. The terrible last night going for icicle spears, and you might be able to soak this. You might be able to soak this. You might be able to live on one. If he shoots for four. And of course he gets the five with the loaded dice. A little bit of RNG helping him out. It's... It, I, I, could, I guess I'll have to deal with it. I guess I'll have to deal with it. Of course he hits five times. But he hurts soul. Raging Bull is going to fly now. I still have Terra, which is good. I might have to terrestrialize my... My bull here. Do I? I doubt he has Terra Blast, right? I really doubt he has Terra Blast. Skull Villain is going to be a tough customer. I could spicy extract him. I might have to do here, right? I might have to do that. I think I'm going to have to spicy extract the Bax Caliber. I mean, that's going to boost his speed, but we go second. We go second. Fluttermane is going to be the next Pokemon. I am going to have to Terrasalize the Bull. Bull has to get the Terror here. We have to keep it alive somehow. One way or another, we have to keep this thing alive. And, oh my god, he's just going to take me out. I'm getting ripped on here. Um, What do I do here? Definitely got Terrasalize in, in the water move. And then just Raging Bull. This is ugly. This is real ugly. I might have to get rid of the Flutter Man. I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect this boy. And, we'll, and we might have to Rage Powder next turn. We'll see how this one plays out. This one, we're sitting in such a tough spot. A really tough spot here. Because I'm worried about my, my boy in the back end, right? My Roar Moon doing anything, and if they have Fluttermane on the field, we cannot soak up a shot from Fluttermane. So that's why I have to target down this Fluttermane. And I must say that the Icicle Spear comes into my Skull Villain slot. And Gleam is also going to fly. So Gleam comes out here. Max Caliber, isn't he minus one? I'm surprised uh, Icicle Spear did, did that much damage. But he does end up double down into my Skull Villain. I could also Rage Powder this next shot just so he doubles down into the Skull Villain again. Really depends how much damage we do, because we can always Aqua Jet if this is low. So Rage Bull comes out here, doing some big time damage, and from here, I'm thinking of just Aqua Jetting you down. And I could Rage Powder the shot. I mean, I don't think he goes after me, right? If I can get off an overheat, I would love to get off an overheat, then Rage Powder next turn. He's minus one on attack. Let me see the defensive stats between this and Fluttermane. I'm hoping this thing can eat up a shot. Defense 86. Ooh. You're 75. Oh, and your HP is a lot higher. You should be able to eat up a... Uh, you should be able to eat this up. So, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. I'm going to overheat and chip up damage here instead of going for a spicy extra. So, Aqua Jet flying here. We finishing you off. He's got to be sticking to going with Skull Villain. That's why I didn't Rage Powder the shot. I I think he's just going to go for Street Icicle Spirit and Skull Villain. And he is. And Skull Villain should be able to soak pretty well. Awesome. Dope. He's fine. Even if you hit five. Actually, if you hit five, I'm kind of getting scared. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. This is four. Okay, he gets a crit, but he doesn't hit for five. That, that works for me. Overheat's going to pop out here. Going to do some nice damage. Chipping up on that. And Tailwind should end rather soon. Tailwind should end rather soon. Oh, and I forgot this thing is Thermal Exchange. So from here, Great Tusk is coming out here. Um, I could go after Great Tusk. So how, many, how many turns left in this Tailwind? How many turns left in this Tailwind? One. One turn left in Tailwind. Do I go for the Aqua Jet or do I go for the Bull? I think I'm just Raging Bull this thing. And then just Rage Powdering the shots. I'm with it. Bull Rage Powder. Wow, I forgot about Thermal Exchange. He did get Attack Boost on that, so he's back to even. But again, if I can waste out this Tailwind, I feel like, and hit off this Rage Bull, we have a good shot at winning this match. The Headlong Rush comes into you. That's fine. I think you're sticking with Icicle Spear, right? Unless you're going for Glaive Rush. That could be... That could be a little scary, right? What are you going for? He is going for Glaive Rush. Can you soak this? Oh my god, yo. Oh, the Bull. The Bull. The Bull! The Bull coming in hot here. That is lovely. So now I pick up the KO onto that. It's a 2v1. I got Bull to go for Aqua Jets here. And I think we outspeed him now. Tailwind's gone. 
Wow, we played this one really well. Bringing in the perfect Pokemon at the perfect time, making great protects. But the thing about this is I can only go for EQs right now. I can only go for EQs, which kind of sucks. So I might as well... Actually, who speeds? It's got to be Roar Moon. It's got to be faster, right? So I'm going to KO my bull here. Oh! I'm going to KO my bull. Unless I go for a third chop. Bull, what's your speed? You might not be faster than... No, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to go for the Aqua Jet here. And I'm going to say EQ KOs, right? Choice Band? I'm going to have to KO my Tauros here. Max Caliber. Oh my god. I just... I might have just lost. I KO'd my Tauros. I just KO'd my Tauros. That hurts. That really hurts. Because I don't think I'm surviving any shot from this Max Caliber, right? Icicle Spear is going to KO me. I need to hope I one-shot with this EQ, right? I mean, I'm choice bandit, but it's not stabbed. That's the problem. That's the problem. And I was going to switch to Throat Chop just to get that stab boost, but not very effective. really doesn't do me any good. Probably should have just sent that. EQ is going to fly here. Can we KO? We're choice bandit. Come on. We just lost. We just lost. We just lost. That one hurts. Why would that back caliber protect? It makes no sense, right? That's a hurt loss. That's a bad beat right there. That's a real bad beat, but I'll take it to the chain. I played well that match. We're hopping into our second match. You know what? I'm going to guarantee you guys two victories in the next two battles. That last match was such a bad beat. Why did that back caliber protect? I mean, it made him win the match, but it just makes no sense, right? It makes absolutely no sense, but bad beat. Bad beat that I went into the EQ, but I feel like I felt like I had to go into the EQ, right? I felt like I had to go into that EQ, considering all the other moves had no effect or were not very effective. EQ seemed like the best option, and I was not expecting them to protect. So it's just like Aqua Jet comes in here, chips up some nice damage, and then EQ comes in here, cleans this one up. But he ends up protecting, then soaking up the first EQ. Icicle Spear comes in here, takes me out. That hurts. That definitely hurts. But I played really well in that one. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a victory. Going up against this team. This team right here. And I'm going to bring Halucha in for a nice level lead. It's got the Mirror Herb. It could deal with that. They got Cerulege and Save Light, which is a problem. It's the definition of a problem. You know, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to also go into you. And I might even Terrasalize the Fluttermane. Might even Terrasalize the Fluttermane. But I feel like both of them are going to be good. I could also bring in Tauros for a nice level Intimidate. I do really like that. And then last but not least, I am going to rock out with Roar Moon. Choice Band Roar Moon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves someone here in battle number two. But Sableye and Cerule Edge could definitely come in here as a lead. They could pop a light screen. They could bulk up. Uh, I do have the Mirror Herb in case the bulk up comes out here. Could be really good for us. But I'm ready, I'm ready to rip. I'm ready to rip. Considering this team, I absolutely wiped the floor with Cerule Edge. Dude, it's kind of scary going up against it. Definitely is. But we're going to end up seeing the lead of these two little boogers. These two little booger boogers. All right. Kind of scared considering Deli Bird's super effective ult by Halucha. And their Flutter made super effective onto my. Oh, I could Terra and go for Rock Slide. I could Terrasize you. Oh, I might. I just might. Terra Rock Slide or Terra Close Combat? Terra Rock Slide seems, seems a lot of fun, right? That rock side does seem a lot of fun. And I could just protect you, turn one. What's your speed? What's your speed set at? You have some IVs in speed. 187. You are maxed out in speed. But your nature doesn't boost speed. It's boosted special attack. Uh, I think I should protect this turn. Actually, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I gotta protect. I have to terrestrialize you because there's two super effective Pokemon on the field. And I'm just gonna protect the, uh, the Fluttermane here. We'll see how they want to play this one. They're going to end up Terrasalizing probably their Fluttermane, right? Into Straight Fairy. Yeah, just so my Shadow Ball won't KO. I was going to do that. Oh, it's a Grass. It's a Grass one. Wow. Don't see that too often. Do not see that too often, but I'm hoping we can get off some big time damage with my lovely Halucha. Lovely Halucha out here. I love this Pokemon. So they pop out with, with Halucha. They waste their Terra. We waste our Terra. We have Rock. We're all about that Rock, baby. I think Gleam is going to fly here. 
And probably on top of that, maybe like a free strike into my Flutter main slot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Free strike, no, into this slot. That hurts the soul. Shadow Ball is going to come in that slot. Okay. I'm cool with that. A little bit of Shadow Ball action. I might have to swap my... I might have to swap my lovely Flutter main. I don't know if we beat it on speed. Rock Side is going to chip up some nice damage. I wish it would have done a little bit more. And I could detect... Um, hmm. Taurus isn't really good. wow. We we have to we have to get some work done with uh with Fluttermean here, right? We have to get some work done with Fluttermean. And this is terrifying. We're just gonna go for Dazzle Gleam here. Luch is gonna detect. We have to get some work done with Fluttermean. Let's see how this one plays out here. This free tries can come out here. We block it. Can we outspeed this Fluttermean? Can, we out can our Fluttermean outspeed? It does. Lovely. If our Fluttermean chips up some big time damage. Gets rid of the Deli Bird, which is solid. But their Flutter main's a problem. It's a problem. It's definitely a problem. Because Shadow Ball's going to fly and it's going to take us out. Um, at this point, I'm going to bring out the bull. Hopefully, first turn priority, we can KO. And then we kind of move off from there. I think it's not Orb, is it? It's not. But yeah, we're going to really hope that this can actually KO. We got to hope that this, this Aqua Jet can KO. We brought it down pretty low. I think Aqua Jet can KO. Sableye's going to come out here and probably set up a Reflect. That is, that's atrocious. And that, that sucks for us. So Intimidate comes out here. Reflecty might be able to soak up. This is a problem. Definitely a problem. Uh, I'm going to go for the Rock Slide. And I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. I think Aqua Jet hmm, is not very effective. And he does not set up the Reflect. That's big time. That is big time. That is big time that he didn't set up the Reflect. So I wonder what he's doing. Because he has a Reflect, Light Screen, Encore. Unless this is a different build. Might be a different build here. Reflect came out oh, after the fact. After the fact for the first turn priority. We love it. We love it. We'll take that. So Reflect's out and about. We have Roar Moon in the back end. Kind of sucks because he's going to be very bulkier. And I think Cerule Edge is going to be that next Pokemon, right? And if Cerule Edge is that next Pokemon, which it might be, it is, you cannot thrash slide. So I'm just going to pop another Rock Slide. And I think I just have to go for like a Wave Crash in you, right? Is Kenny KO me? What's he rocking? Bitter Blade. Um, what is it? It's Bitter Blade. Bitter Blade bulk up a protect. It has leftovers and it has what's his other move? Shadow Sneak. It has Shadow Sneak. Okay. So yeah, Wave Crash seems like the player. Actually, I don't think it has protect, does it? I'm gonna disable one of my moves. My rock slide. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. Rock slide is disabled. We go for a wave crash. How much damage are we doing here? Do a nice chunk. Do a reflect. Bring that thing down to one. Did that thing just get a free sash? It's gonna bulk up. Okay, that's pretty much game set match, right? I'm gonna mirror herb that as well. I'm down with that. Okay, cool. So we counter the strong team that we use in match number two. This match definitely seemed like it was gonna be a tough one. Especially with the Deli Bird and Flutter main lead. But after we get got rid of them, there's a Rulet Save Black combo doing nothing to us. Doing nothing. We're gonna Aqua Jet. I know Save Black can't do any damage, so. It's wraps. It's wraps. We can't use Rock Slide either, which sucks. <laughs> we can't use Rock Slide either, but I guess we'll just use our stab acrobatics into that. And then Aqua Jets is just going to come out here and finish off this match. He probably just cancels it, right? He's got to know I go for the Aqua Jet. He knows Save Black has no attacking moves. It's just straight support. And we whoop it up in match number two. Really still upset that we didn't win match number one because we could have went back to back. But Halucha and Tauros getting after it. Is this, did we lose Pokemon? Yeah, we used Flutter Main to begin. I was going to say, did we get a sweep? That would be lovely. But he ends up protecting. But what are you doing? Like, that's the real question. Unless the Sableye can hit, I don't think it can. Right? Like, what else are you going to do? Disable another move? <gasps> You're going to disable my Aqua Jet. But I still outspeed you. I still outspeed you. I just proved it last time. We still outspeed you. Acrobatics going to fly through here. And wow. <laughs> was that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. Through the reflect, yo. Unburdened. Whooping. Give me that plus one. Acrobatics does more damage when you don't have an item either. Haluch is a real deal. Haluch is a real deal. And you can use it with the skull villain combo, which is really cool. But now I'm just going to acrobat you. Go back to my wave crash. Game, set, match. Battle was canceled. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Final match coming at you guys, going up against a semi Trick Room team. They got Indeedee and Hatterene as two Pokemon to set up the Trick Room. They also have T-Tar for Weather Control, and T-Tar is pretty solid on its own. And then they also have the Iron Hands, Deli Deli Bird, and last but not least, Golden Gun. 
How am I playing this one? How am I getting after it? I feel like Watermain might have to be a lead here. Potentially could be a lead here. Could go in with Torkoal and just start throwing fire moves all around. That is definitely an option. But Halucha and Skullville could also be a decent lead here. Spicy Extract, Mirror Herb that, roll out strong. I can get down with that, but I am kind of scared of that Deli Bird. Like if they lead Deli Bird, that could be a problem, right? Deli Bird could be a problem. And they might end up leading Deli Bird. That could be a problem. That could, mm, that could be a problem. But you know what? I'm going to say screw it. We're still going to go into these two. Let's rip in with them. Skull Villain, Halucha combo. If we lose the battle, we lose the battle. It's no big deal. And then in the back end, got to bring Fluttermane. Fluttermane is super effective onto a lot of these Pokemon. I really like that. And then last but not least, do I go in with the Choice Band Pokemon or do I go in with a Torkoal? Because Torkoal could be good, especially late game Torkoal. I'm with Torkoal here. Choice Band War Moon. Sorry, buddy. You're very situational. Can't be bringing you in every single day. Plus, you killed my Tauros uh, in, in battle number one. What was that about? Should have just used the cube but not touched them. Would have been awesome. Be like that. We're one and one. I really want this winning record for you guys. Hopefully, I grab it for you guys still. Because we should already be 2 0. But for some reason, that Bax Caliber had to protect turn one in match number one. Or not turn one. In the final turn. But our opponent ends up going Golden Go and in D, 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 D. In da 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 da. We'll call it. That's fine. Um, so from here, a spicy extract could be lovely. Lovely spicy extract. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for a spicy extract. Who do we lower defense stats? Maybe just lower Indeedies. And I could Terra, but nah, I don't think Terra's playing. I'm just gonna Acrobat. Did I flutter me for Golden Go? Golden Go might even Terra here. It is. It's just gonna, going to simply Terrastalize. So he wants to go for probably follow me, make it rain. Um, I think a Lucha should be able to soak, right? I know Skull Villain can. Got the sash all day. I do like that. But follow me is gonna come out here. That's totally fine. Can Skull Villain outspeed so we get off the Acrobatics first? It does. The Skull Villain is gonna go first. He does tear it in the ground, which is really good. Defense is down. We're gonna pop our mirror herb just like we did in that last match. And Acrobat's gonna fly here. So we. Oh! Bye bye. Woo! Bye bye. Indeed, he gets absolutely trashed on. Make it Rain's probably gonna pop out here. No, he's just gonna plot instead. So we still have speed. And now my Acrobatics can probably KO Golden Go. Might be a big mistake by him for tearing in the ground. I don't see the point in that, but I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow it. Iron Bundle comes out here. Iron B's a little scary, you know? Iron B's a little scary. But from here, I can just Rage Powder both of you guys. And then I can just rip it to Acrobatics with you. I could actually go for a rock move, but I feel like we're fine here. I got to get rid of Golden Go. Plus two Golden Go. It's a problem. It's scary. I don't want to deal with a Make It Rain coming out from it. And I could Terrastalize, but I just feel like Rage Pounder with our Skull Villains. Probably the play now. Just throw some out there. Distract the shots. We'll see how this one plays out here. Acrobats is going to outspeed. Golden Go gone. Golden Go is gone. Get him on out of here. And yo, this Halucha is outspeeding this Deli Bird with Unburden. Huge. Huge place. Freeze Dry coming out here. Skull Villain says, yo, that's the tastiest snack you have ever handed me. And soaks it up. Dope, dope, dope. So we know we outspeed the Deli Deli Bird, which is huge. Iron Hand's going to come out here. And, uh, I mean, I can just double protect this turn. Makes the most sense. Just dodge the fake outs. Place one slow. Place one slow. They don't have Terra. We have Terra if we want to use it. And I'd rather save it. I'd rather save it. But this match, looking too easy. In the wise words of LeBron James, come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> That's like my favorite thing to say. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's so easy. LeBron's going up for like a like a layup, and someone fouls him. He still makes it. He's like, come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> you got to check it out. Again, if you guys haven't checked it out, you have to check it out. Well, he blocked the fake out turn. Um, I think we just rage powder until this thing dies and then we just, uh, you know, rip into this thing with an acrobatics. And I could go for a rock side. I could go for a close combat as well. Rock side would not be bad. Actually, might go for rock side. Yeah, I'm going to go for rock side. Deal some damage onto Deli Bird. I actually probably should have went for acrobatics on Deli Bird, but looking for some flinches here. Looking for some flinchies. The rock side's fine here. Getting off some nice damage on the iron bundle. Any flinchies? Do my flinches work? No, they do not. So, Freeze Dry comes out here. We soak, which is awesome because Thunder Punch is going to fly in that slot. 
And now we thriving. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> so now I can just do... I can legit just go into a moon blast and another rock slide it's game set match thank you for coming out here like i told you guys i was guaranteeing you guys a winning record after we lost that first match i had to that's exactly what we're doing here they're gonna cancel battle i think like once you see Flutterman come out you're like oh man what's this about what is this about he ends up protecting the deli deli and rock slide is going to get blocked and hopefully it connects on the iron hands but even if it doesn't i think moon blast can ko Actually, it might not. We're orb. I probably should tear it, but it's all good. It don't, it don't matter. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> it's too easy. And now we're sitting here. So G to the Gs. Thanks for coming out here. Halucha absolutely dominating in this final battle. We're going to Moon Blast. We're going to switch this to... Actually, we're going to switch this to Punchies. Nice little close combat. But our opponent probably cancels. He does not. He lets his Deli Bird get absolutely beat up here. And it's fine. 2-1 winning record for today's video. Dominated in the last two battles. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, guaranteed you guys a winning record after we lost that first battle. That's exactly what I did for you guys. 2-1 for today's video. Dominated with Skull Villain and Halucha. Did not really get out our choice band War Moon. Very situational, but you guys get the gist. You guys seen plenty of War Moon. But Taurus was amazing as well. Fluttermane, and I don't know if we used Torkoal. Did we use Torkoal? I don't believe we did use Torkoal, but again, Torkoal is another one of those Pokemon that you guys have seen thousands of times. If I don't bring it out, it's not that big of a deal. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.